If you don't want to read the post about it, here's what you need to know about why doctors finally called a truce on cholesterol in food. After a 30-year crusade against cholesterol, the American Heart Association has reversed its stance, saying cholesterol is not considered a nutrient of concern for overconsumption. Cholesterol is good for your brain. Your brain's about 2% of your body by weight, but it has 25% of your body's cholesterol. Cholesterol is essential for building myelin sheaths, these fatty insulators that let your brain cells and your nerves send signals faster. A high-carb, low-fat diet puts you at greater risk for Alzheimer's, according to a 2011 study in the European Journal of Internal Medicine. Cholesterol is the building block for all of your sex hormones. Cholesterol binds to fat-soluble vitamins and helps deliver them to cells in your body. And heart disease is simply not the result of too much cholesterol. It's the result of inflammation from eating damaged, oxidized, polyunsaturated fats that cause plaque buildup in your arteries. So eat good fat and cholesterol from sources like grass-fed meat, pastured eggs, and don't deep fry or overcook your cholesterol and stay away from industrial fats like soybean oil, canola oil, and vegetable oil, whatever that means.